Hello and welcome everyone to your yoga practice today. And today, just like we've been doing, we're going to keep our yoga aerobics theme, our yoga aerobics movement going, adding a touch more core into there, kind of building each week. So grab what you might need, whatever accoutrements or props you might need. And let's do this. Yeah, to the mat. <clears throat> All right, here we are starting standing. Let's take inhale, bring the arms up, lift the heels if you can do it. On the exhale, slow and control, coming back down. Inhaling, lifting up, lengthening. Exhale, coming back down. Two more with the breath. All right. Now we're gonna take, start shifting our weight side to side. Lift the heels as you're ready. And then, as you are ready, you can lift the whole foot. And as we're ready, we need to build on this a little bit more. Now do a little extra lift out to the side. Lift that heel a little bit. Lift that heel a little bit. Use those outer hip muscles. Get that heel. Little extra lift. Still keeping our movement rhythmic and under control. Kind of meditative and relaxing. Now that we've got the side lifts going, we're going to add a little squat with a little kickback. We'll lift the heel behind us. So we're going to come down and do a little squat, a little press back of the heel. A little squat, press that heel back. You should be able to feel that pinch in those glute muscles when you're pressing that heel back. Moving them up just a little bit more. Then we gotta add the obliques into the equation. One more squat there. So one more squat down, bring it up. And then right elbow, right knee off the side. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, contract, bring it together. Two more. There's one. And 
two. Now let's take it right over to the left side. Bring that arm up. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Two more with the breath. One. And two. Ooh. And back down. Okay, I'm going to switch perspectives. Here's my sleeves. Let me quit falling all over the place. All right, let's take those arms up on an inhale. On the exhale, nice hinge down to forward fold. Remember, bend the knees as you need to. We don't want to lock the knees out and be all hunched over looking like this. You want this to be active. Bend the knees, use the quads, lift those sit bones up, lengthen the spine. <sighs> Much better. All right, on an inhale, reverse that hinge back up. And exhale, hinge back down. Moving with the breath. One more with the breath, ending it forward fold. Right here. And we're gonna bring our hands down, step back to a plank. And we're pressing that ground while we press that floor away. We don't wanna be sinking into our shoulder joint. Press up and away. Nice big inhale. On the exhale, press back to down dog. Shift back to plank on an exhale. Nice big inhale here. Uh, exhale back to our down dog. We can cuddle the legs a little bit. Stretch out the back of the lower leg a little bit more. And we're going to walk our feet back to forward fold. Reposition ourselves. Inhale, reverse that hinge right back up. On the exhale, drop the left, lengthen the right side. Inhale the left up. And exhale, drop the right, lengthen the left. Inhale that right arm up, and on the exhale, release to the side. All right, now we're going to take, we're going to add, okay, let's break this down. We're going to inhale, sit the hips back into a little squat. Exhale, press up to single leg stance. Inhale down, exhale up to the other side. 
with the breath. And as we're doing this, we're using our abdomen, our abdominal muscles to pull that knee up and to stabilize us. Let's get two more each side. Two. And two. And back up. All right, separate those feet nice and wide. Toes turned out, heels turned in as much as is comfortable. Plug those elbows into the sides. Inhale, sit the hips back, keep the knees open. Exhale, lengthen up. Inhale, sit back. Exhale, press up. Two more right here. There's one, and we're going to go over to the right side. There's two. Now press just the right side. Lengthen and down. One more here. Right over to the left, and press one. One more. Back to the center, last time. Shoulders a little shake out. I'm going to bring them out to the sides. Shoulders relax. Drop back down into our squat. Remember, keep the knees open. So only go down as far as you can. Keep the knees open. Inhale, dip to the left, lengthening the right. Exhale, back to center. And then the other side. With the breath. Two more each side. One. One. Two. And two. Bringing the arms, hands to the heart center. Do some little pulses here if you can, if you're able. Press back up and press. All right, 
Let's level out those heels and toes. I'm going to take inhale, sit the hips back on the right. Exhale, press up, and then the left. Oh, I'm going down as much as is comfortable, as much as you can control. Two more each side with the breath. One. Two. And two. All right. Now we're going to take it, bring it down. We're going to bring our right knee down. Stack it under the right hip. Left foot going out to the side. Lined up with that right knee. Make sure that tailbone is lengthened down. We want to be locked into place in the hips, in the pelvis. As we do this. Arms up to the side, shoulders relaxed. Now, if you have a difficult time keeping yourself open, want the chest open when we do this, it might be helpful to have a block to rest your hand on or to not worry about going all the way to the ground. Okay, we're going to inhale, loading the glute, lengthening our left side obliques, and on the exhale, ah, use those obliques to bring us back up. Inhale down, exhale, up with the breath. One more on this side. Now we're going to go back down. Inhale down. This is what's especially helpful to have that block if you need it. And we're going to lift that left foot to the best of our ability. Nice and long. Bring that foot down, and on an exhale, lift back up all the way up and over so we get a little extra stretch in that right side. Bring it back to center, and let's switch. Left knee goes down under that left hip. Right foot out to the side, lined up with that right knee. Tailbone lengthened down, pelvis locked into place. Arms out, shoulders relax. Inhale, nice and control, down. Exhale, nice and control, coming back up with the breath. Two more. There's one. And two. All right, we're going to go back down. 
and use just those muscles on that right side to lift. Nice and controlled. Try not to throw your weight forward to do the lift. Use your muscles. Use them as they are made to be used. All right, bring that right foot down. Exhale, lift back up all the way over, a little extra length on that left side. And bring it back to center. All right, let's take it to seated. Feet flat, knees bent, nice and long in our spine, chest open, shoulders down and back. And we're gonna hinge back until we feel some activation in our midsection. Bring your arms forward if it's comfortable. And then if you're ready, as you're ready, willing and able, you can lift those feet. Keep breathing nice and deep and steady. Don't pull the breath. If you find that you can't breathe deeply and steadily in your position, back off to a spot where you can. That's of utmost importance. All right, we're going to rock back down, feet down. Inhale, lengthen those arms up. And on the exhale, release forward. Let the spine lengthen. Head, neck, shoulders relax. Bring it back up, grab the outside edges of your feet, spine up tall, chest open, shoulders back. We're just going to walk those heels forward a little bit, keeping the alignment in our spine. Right again. Legs tall and long. Hinge back till we feel that activation. <clears throat> Arms forward as we're ready. Feet lifted as we're ready, willing, and able. And here, if you'd like to add a little bit more to it, if it feels appropriate for you at this time, at this point, you're going to inhale, lengthen down, stretch pose. Exhale. Lifting up with the breath. Let's get two more. One and two. Hold it just a little bit. Hold it just a little longer. And release. Bring it up on the inhale. Exhale. Keep that length and come forward. Bring it 
back up. Just bring the soles of the feet together as close to your body or well, not close, as is comfortable. Up nice and tall. You can give those knees a little wiggle to help loosen up the hips a little more and let them know that it's okay to release and to relax. And then, if you'd like, as you're ready, willing, and able, as always, you can bring yourself forward, whatever amount your body allows. It might not be much, as is the case for myself, but that's okay. Bring it back up. Now let's roll it on back. Okay. Let's take those legs, extend them up towards the sky or the ceiling, whatever your situational case might be. Use those quad muscles. Arms up. Back of the neck stays long. We lift. Reach over to the right. Inhale that right leg down, exhale, bring it up with the breath. Two more. There's one. Two right over to the left side. Here we go with the breath. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more. And two. Reach up towards the center. Hold it, hold it. And release. And let's take hands on the fronts of the knees. Knees over the hips. And as we inhale, lengthen the right side, left hand. Presses into the left knee, resisting each other. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, left side lengthen. Exhale, pull back. With the breath, alternating sides. Two more each side. One. Two. And two. And release those feet down. Let the knees fall down to the right. Just nice and relaxed. Letting some tension released, untwist out of this, out of our torso, out of our abdomen. Then bring those knees back up to center and over to the left. Back up to center. All right. Extend those legs up to the ceiling. 
sky, whichever it may be. One last time. Arms up. Reach up over to the right. Inhale that right leg down. Exhale. Bring it up. Two more. Here's one. And two. Right over to the left. Last time with the breath. Last two. One. Two. Pull to the center last time. And release. All right, we gotta do our knee presses one last time. One last time. Okay, knees up, hands on the fronts of those knees. Ready, set, inhale, lengthen the right side, pressing the left, exhale, right side back together, inhale, lengthen the left, pressing the right, exhale, back together, hold the breath a few more times. Two more each side. Two. And two. Bring those feet down. Extend the legs out. Give them a little shake, let them release. Arms overhead, interlace the fingers. Nice big deep inhale. Gathering up all your tension. Flex all your muscles. Make a face. Hold it. Hold everything. Exhale. And release. Bring your arms to your sides. And take Shavasana. And we're gonna roll it over onto the right or left side to the fetal pose. And press it back up to see. <sighs> nice tall and long again. And now lengthen those arms up one last time. Exhale to the heart center. There. We now go share your newly energized and refreshed selves with the world. Yes. 
Great job out there today. Way to stick with it. Go get them out there the rest of the week, and I'll see you on the next one.